In this lesson, you will learn some of the ways that you can filter queries in Cypher. You have already learned how to test for a particular value for a property in a WHERE clause and how you can use logical expressions. This query returns the actors in their movies where the movie was released in 2008 or 2009. Most of the queries you have seen thus far filter nodes by their labels. This definitely reduces what is retrieved from the graph. Here is an example where we return the names of the actors who acted in the movie The Matrix. An alternative to specifying the label in the pattern is to test the label in the WHERE clause. This query returns the same results, but the label filtering is done in the WHERE clause. You can specify ranges in your filtering. Here we want to find the names of actors and their movie titles where the movie was released between 2000 and 2003. Another common test is whether a property exists. Recall that by default, nodes with the same labels do not have to have all the same properties. Here we want to find all movies that Jack Nicholson acted in that have a movie tagline in the graph. We can modify this query to find the Jack Nicholson movies that do not have a tagline properly. Another way that you can filter your queries is by partial string matches. In Cypher, you can use the starts with, ends with, or contains keywords to test partial strings for a property. Here is an example where we want to find all actors whose name begins with Michael. Notice that in this pattern, we need not specify a node label in the to side of the relationship. You should keep in mind that string tests are case sensitive. If you are unsure whether the data in the graph is capitalized, you may want to convert it to lowercase for the test. Here is an example where we transform the property value to lowercase so we can test it against a string that is lowercase. You can also filter your queries based upon patterns in the graph. Here's an example where we want to find all people who wrote a movie but did not direct the same movie. Another way that you can filter properties in the graph is by testing whether they have a value that is in a list of values. In this query, we want to return all people born in 1965, 1970, or 1975. Or you can test values in the graph to test whether a node should be returned. Here, we want to return the names of all people who acted in the matrix who had the role of Neo, where the roles property of the acted in relationship contains a list of roles. In the next challenge, you will use some of the cipher you just learned to filter a query to answer a specific question about the movie graph. This concludes our look at some of the ways that you can filter your queries in Cypher.